Hi everyone and welcome to our tutorial on the LEGO EV3 robot. In this part of the unit you're going to use software along with hardware in order to try and get our robot to do different things. So let's take a look at our robot and the different parts that are on our robot. First thing if we turn our robot sideways you can see that we have two motors on each side. We've got a motor here and we've got a motor here. Each one of these motors is driving one of these wheels. So in the software we're going to have to tell the software to tell the motor to turn the wheels a certain direction and a certain speed. If we want the robot to move forward we have to tell each motor to move in a certain direction so that it does go in the correct order. Careful here because this motor is facing this direction. If you see this round part here, notice this motor is facing the other way. So we have to make sure that we know which way the wheels are going to turn in order to get this to move in the right direction. Also on the front, we've got a number of different ports here. And each one of these ports is an output port to each one of the motors. So we've got four output ports. Each one of these wires goes to a single motor. In other words, it sends out a signal to tell each motor what to do. So we have to make sure that we have all these connected properly as well. In behind there, we've got this port to the side and this port here is where you're going to use a USB cable and connect up to program your robot. So when we've written a program we want to download it to the robot. We're going to make sure we've got this cable connected. We're going to download our program to the robot and then we're going to disconnect so we can try out our robot. Some other things that we have on the robot are these two things here. Notice they look the same. These are both touch sensors. So besides having motors, we also have sensors on here. So we've got two touch center sensors and we're going to talk about why we have two later on. Each one of those is connected to the other side of the robot. So if I turn this around, we've also got four ports on the back here. And these are all four sensors. So we can have up to one, two, three, four sensors. Each one of these is labeled, in this case A, B, C, and D. Now on the back here we also have a ultrasonic sensor. So that has to be connected to the correct port on the back here. And we also have this thing here pointed straight down. This is another sensor. It is a color sensor. So for our robot we have four motors connected and we have four sensors connected. One of your jobs is to be able to program each one of those properly to make sure that they function correctly. That's it for this tutorial. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.